Hey everyone, so in today's vlog we're going to talk about <clears throat> chasing and why people chase after a relationship is over. Now often the people that are chasing, you will know you're chasing if you start to become aware of what you're feeling every time you message the other person or try to get a hold of the other person. And the feeling is usually one of insecurity. If you feel insecure the minute you pick up your phone and begin to text the other person or call the other person or whatever you do to get in contact with them, then consider yourself chasing because what happens in karma when you chase is there's a lesson after it right <clears throat> so the karmic lesson with you and that partner that partner will give back to you very quickly because when you're chasing it's often due to an insecurity a fear of rejection or maybe you have been rejected and you're not accepting it and you just feel like you've lost something and you need to go get it back. You've lost control over something maybe, which is a horrible thing to say. I don't mean control over the other person. I just mean like that comfort level and that control that you have in a relationship. And the control in relationships sometimes is, I'm not saying it in a negative way. I'm saying it like that security that relationships give, that, that just that knowing that I have that person, that person's gonna message me back, um, that knowing that that person is there for you, and then all of a sudden, when they're not, when they're not there for you, it's a jolt to many people. So a lot of people, when they when they feel this disconnect, they want to do everything to connect it again. And what happens is when you begin to react unconsciously, that's basically what your karma is. So karma is basically taking action over the thinking. So we are the thinker, we feel something, and then we take action. So when you are the thinker, then you feel, then you take action. But what people are doing when they're chasing because they're coming from a place of fear, insecurity, been rejected, any of those lower vibrational feelings, what they're doing is they're unconsciously, so they have no idea why they're acting, you see? So the thought is one of loss. And their action will be unconscious at this point. They're not consciously doing anything. They're unconsciously reacting from the fear constantly. So what's going to happen? The other person, every time you text them, every time you message them, the other person is going to feel vibrationally because we move in waves. The other person is going to feel these insecurities. So the other person may look at their phone and put the phone down and not want to engage with what they're feeling, which is fear, insecurity, any of that. That, per that other person doesn't want to engage with that, so they may not respond to you as quickly as they may have in the past. So that is karma in a sense where you react unconsciously. So what happens is now this person is giving you, you can take it as silence, you and the polarity in it is you start to now think all these things in your head like why aren't they responding i messaged this this long ago do they not like me why do they not like me so now the unconscious brain continues to do its thing because you keep acting unconsciously and that other person is going to give you back what is in your mind which is more fear they're going to give you they're going to give you long periods of silence rejection more rejection perhaps which then in your it's it's put right back into your face because karma is an echo so it is echoed right back until you learn the lesson behind it which is to quiet the mind and you never give up your own power you never give up your own control everything is always within and when you're not in balance you're going to act you're not going to be able to think feel and then act. You're going to act 
and then think more because now the other per person is projecting it and then feel more fee feel more fear, which is gonna go back into action again. See that negative karmic loop? So you want to turn this to a positive karmic loop. How do you do that? Because it's hard. So the first thing is you never deny your emotions. You recognize the fears, you look at them, you kind of, I do this in meditation and I just close my eyes and I just see the fear, I feel the fear, I give the fear a scenario in this situation and I see where the fear hurts me or makes me feel unprotected the most and I usually see it in a scenario that is created in my mind. I connect to the fear and I allow it to almost integrate and feel it, really feel it. And what it what that exercise does is it allows you to be one with the fear. So the fear is not outside of you anymore. The fear is a part of you, which gives your essence power, which gives you control over your thoughts again, which is going to give you control over, okay, how I feel, which is which now you can consciously act. That's a positive karmic loop. So if you consciously tell yourself, you go to pick up the phone and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna do this and you put it down. You're gonna take this fear, and you're gonna deal with it until then, you're not gonna get this other person intertwined into your own heart drama, and you literally consciously put the phone down. Guess what the other person's gonna do? They're gonna notice. Let's say you keep doing that and a week goes by. Now you're not even thinking of it as much because a week has gone by and you feel a little bit lighter. You go out with your girlfriends, you meet somebody, they come up to you, they ask for your number and you kind of start chatting with this other person. And when you're chatting with this other person, you're like, okay, this is cool. I like this person. I want to see where this could go. Now, because you have completely cleared yourself off of the uh, unconscious karmic loop, that other person might feel a detachment from you, a release from you, and they might start feeling like, oh shit, I need to talk to that person. I need to get back a hold of that person. They will feel the missing ties that link that kept you two together, they're going to start feeling the unraveling of it a little bit. And then guess who will call you right back? They'll probably message you. Anyways, I hope that helps. I wanted to bring karma into the chase game so you can understand what goes on in the body and the mind in this loop. Love you guys.